There is breaking coaching news in the NFL. Before we went to break, we had asked the question, would you give up draft capital to acquire Mike Vrabel to be your team's head coach? Turns out that's no longer necessary. Adam Schefter tweeted the following. The Titans have fired head coach Mike Vrabel per sources. Vrabel led Tennessee to four consecutive winning seasons after arriving in 2018, but the Titans have experienced back-to-back frustrating seasons, finishing multiple games under 500 both times. Ian Rappaport has also reported that the Titans have fired Mike Vrabel and he will not return in 2024. Sources say as both sides will move on after six seasons, that included one coach of the year nod for Vrabel. He's expected to be one of the top candidates available. And Ian adds, fair to say, keep an eye on New England and what's next for Bill Belichick. This follows a report yesterday from Jordan Schultz that said if Mike Vrabel does shake free, that he would be interested in returning to New England. Isn't that the street the movie theater is on? Stop that. (laughs) Stop that, T-Bone. That's a fast post shot. There you go. I love it, T-Bone. All right, so... Back to money, back to money with, with the with the Patriots. If you've got a free agent, which Mike Vrabel is now, he's a free agent, and he's got to be he's one of the top guys on the market. And you want to get you want to talk to one of the top guys on the market, but you still got a head coach. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You got to fire the head coach if you want one of the top guys, and if he's one of the top guys, now you got to pay him. So this is a lot of money here. But the Titans will also kick in some cash kick in at his next oh, stop. Yeah, so it, it all uh, kind of washes out, okay. right? He'll be getting money from the Titans. You'll be paying money to Bill wherever he goes. This is, and this is all so, the NFL is such a small, it, it really, it's a big league. It's a small league. Think about this, okay? Bill Belichick, if he moves on, is probably going to be replaced by one of his former players. Either... Mike Vrabel, who he signed, or Gerard Mayo, who he drafted. Mike Vrabel was fired by Rand Carthon, son of Maurice Carthon, who Bill Belichick and Bill Parcells coached with the Giants. Yeah, and here. And I wonder if, if, if Carthon, the son, Rand, I wonder if he fired Vrabel because of personality or the record. Nobody talks about the record here with Vrabel. Well, that's the thing, too. Like, when he took over at Tennessee, they had a massive offensive line, well-schooled. The defense was young and on the come, and uh, you had a young Derrick Henry. And he made the critical bad decision at quarterback. It was a Mariota Tannehill deal. Instead of going with Tom Brady to where they probably could have won a Super Bowl with Brady. 2020 had an opportunity that's four years ago. 2020. Tom and they, wanted to and go. Just before, and just before Brady uh, made his decision, they re-sign Ryan Tannehill to a big contract. So they make they have a decision yep. between you Tom Tannehill. Brady and Ryan, Ryan Tannehill, and you you pick Ryan Tannehill. You know what Tannehill made here when they did that? $30 million. $30 million you committed a year to Ryan Tannehill instead of Tom Brady. Because they felt like, because he, he did. They he was bigger upside. He took over from Mariota. And Mariota was, uh, you know, talk about a, a bust. I mean, it was the second pick in the draft and just really never, he well, never got there. Well, it's a short window to win with Brady, right? Yeah. And I get that. And so you, know, you made the decision, you know, Mariota, you bring in Tannehill and you start, you, you win some games, but you're never going to get anywhere, and which Vrabel found out. You're never going to get anywhere with uh, Ryan oh, Tannehill yeah. as, your, as your starting quarterback. He's not going to be the reason you win games. Robert, do it. Go get Mike Vrabel. You want, oh, you want Vrabel here. Go get Mike Vrabel and blow everybody out. What? There you go. Blow everybody out and start over with Mike Vrabel and a new GM. And it could be someone with Patriot ties, but it's new. And I would let him hire his offensive coordinator. And I would not hesitate. You mentioned his name earlier in the show, Michael, to call the recently fired Arthur Smith in Atlanta. They worked together before. Put it back together. You give them the third overall pick. Start building this thing. And these are all people that you should trust Mike Vrabel, right? That's a guy that they trust and they like quite a bit. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think they like him. Okay. Yeah, they like him. Okay. And then you get... Patriots Hall of Famer. Yep. He's got a red jacket. Red jacket guy. Red jacket guy. And then you figure out who your GM is going to be that is going to work 
alongside Mike Vrabel as a team. Ah, but see now, eh, here's the problem. I like I, I like what you were saying, Beetle. Until I just remembered something. See, it's all about What'd relationships. I just remembered Mike Vrabel, first job in the NFL. Whose staff was he on? He was on Bill O'Brien's staff. Okay, in Houston. so he's not going to blow out Bill O'Brien for Arthur Smith. I was say. No, 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 he's not going to do it. For me. They're going to do it for. They're going to do it for. Him. They're going to blow everybody oh, so, out. See. That they're going to know right now, this week, tomorrow, Wednesday. They announce we're letting everybody go. Coaches are free agents. Says, After all I've done for you in football, you you couldn't then, say you didn't you didn't put in a good word for me. Then they're going to conduct the search. That's what they're going to do. So so Mayo's out. So you Mayo would, Mayo would not be the head coach in this scenario. No, he would. Would you keep him? Uh, would, would you keep him on staff? Do you think he would want to stay on staff as say Vrabel's defensive DC. coordinator? Maybe. Maybe that's the way they they do it. I'd take it as a slight. I would. Mayo. Of course. Yes. And you've been talking about it. You've been grooming me. I've been, we've been having these discussions. I turned down a head coaching interview. Yeah. You told me to wait. I yeah, waited. Sh- sure. I turned on a, sure. The yeah, guy I turned down. I, is I a love maniac, Bill. Bill, Bill I turned told me to wait, but if you're ready to move on from Bill, I'm ready to take over the reins. Like that's, I would take that as a slight. And again, uh, to go back to a report in November, early November, Ben Volan reported that the Patriots internally viewed Mike Vrabel as a home run choice to be their next head coach. That was a hell of a Hall of Fame weekend here. I was involved in a lot of that stuff, and they loved him, as did Bill. Bill came and talked glowingly. Bill's at his best up here on the podium telling the stories. Mike Frable, now available, fired today in Tennessee. I would take him in a heartbeat. He knows how to run a program. He's a guy who connects with this but, generation yeah, of player, I'm I'm, he- I'm hesitating, and uh, and he's got experience, which I think is needed right now. I appreciate he definitely experience. has the experience advantage. Yeah. What are you Ew. hesitating on, Mike? I'm, I'm hesitating. I, I and, and a lot of people know this. I've known him for a, lo- a long time. I'm from the same hometown. Um, I did not know that. Yeah, same hometown. I covered him in high school. Mike Vrabel, high school in high school. He yes, did, he did you wrong, didn't he? Uh, he did not. He did not. He did. And he was say, and here's he was a great, he was a great high school athlete. Uh, sure. Was a defensive end at that time, defensive end tight end. Um, now became a linebacker in the pros, but he was a defensive end in college too. Great, great college player. A lot, you know, that's why he was drafted second. First in the Robert second round. Smith, now Mike Vrabel. You are down on all no, your guys today. No, but Mike Vrabel, um, a lot of respect for you know what he's done and and his his uh, football intellect, but I just go back to what he did with that team. How do we dismiss that? I, I, I just, in other words, how do you say, hey, Bill Belichick, the performance has fallen off and the development of the of players has isn't what it's supposed to be, and then bring in a guy who has disappointed in Tennessee. I mean, they have they've slid too. Does he have any? Does he have any part of that? Is, do you blame him for any of that, or are we just to be honest? Are we still so smitten by the image of Mike Vrabel coming in? Tom Brady's last game at Gillette Stadium, last game as a Patriot. Mike Vrabel coming in and watching Bill Belichick lose his ish as he outcoached him down the stretch and just melted the clock. They had to change that rule. Yeah, no, 2020 and him yeah. pantsing Bill yeah. on that hey. clock rule and well, using his own tricks against him. How often do you see that? But that's half of his playoff victories in his career, right? Does he have how many playoff victories? Two. two? He's got two victories, two. one against you. Yeah. With Ryan Tannehill as his quarterback. Okay. That's impressive. Two and five? I'm a glass half full kind of guy, <laughs> Michael. I, I see Okay. That. All right. And it's so, a... It, look, he's a he's a strong candidate. It's not a no brainer for me, is what I'm saying. Okay. If they, if they wind up with Mike Vrabel, well, is that, is that an way. awful decision? No. Mayo or Vrabel? Vrabel. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I need to know what else is happening okay. in that in that ecosystem. I know okay? I know they think I know what they else think is going there. on around there. I know they think down there. I think this is bad for Mayo. Oh, you think it's bad for him? Ooh. I think this is the one. They like. Oh, this is this is the one thing that could have popped up that you probably didn't think was going to happen and pop up. We had a little Jim Louth running around here. Hey, would you trade for Vrabel? Like, well, this is before the news broke. Then the news breaks. Now it's like, okay. he got him. He's available. Who we got? 
He's I'm right there. It, it's only going to cost you. Got now, him. now you get all the lawyers. Now you get everybody together. Now all you have to do is legal team unite. You have to right. <laughs> You have to figure out a way to move on from your head coach. Then you need and you got to come up with a contract. You need to create. You need to do that. You need to create this. I don't say farce of uh, of we're going to interview a bunch of people, but that's kind of what this has come to, right? You know, and uh, you got to get people in. You got to talk to them. Uh, you got to respect the Rooney Rule. You got to interview two minorities, even right. though you probably know that's your guy, right? You know. So I mean, still, it's Tuesday. It's going to take time going to take time first of all to deal with bill if you want to move on and get all well, that stuff set yeah. up now you got to take gotta, a deep breath then you got to yeah. decide okay here's the crew we want to interview you know we've got a statement from the titans on this we'll get okay. to that also right. nick casario responding directly to the idea that he might leave houston and go back to new england Ooh. you'll hear him in his own words on that it's all in the way